Good evening, everyone, and Happy New Year's Eve for 2020. I'm Carlos Corrado, pastor and founder of Christ Point Church Melbourne, the place to belong. Thank you for joining us tonight. It is for me a pleasure to be able to share with you these final moments of 2020, the Word of God. Exactly a year ago, back in New Year's Eve 2019, we we're all excited about a new beginning and looking forward to what 2020 had prepared for us. That excitement quickly turned into uncertainty and then it turned into worry. Then it turned into a fear as a worldwide pandemic absorbed the world and brought nations to their knees. We all know that this year 2020 has not been an easy one. It has been a challenging year, especially for the church. As a church, we have gone through great trials, tribulations, and tests, if you will. Now, some churches may have passed this test with good grades, and others may not. In any case, God has prepared us for something. Now, you may be asking, what did He prepare us for? Well, I believe that 2021 will come with its fair share of trials and tribulations. Therefore, God has been preparing you and I for a fight. Now this evening, before we finish the year, I want to leave you with the following words. The book of Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10 to 20 tells us the following. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of His might. Put on the full armor of God so that you will be able to stand firm against the schemes of the devil. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the powers, against the world forces of darkness against the spiritual forces of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the full armor of God so that you will be able to resist on the evil day and having done everything to stand firm. Stand firm, therefore, having belted your waist with truth and having put on the breastplate of righteousness and having strapped on your feet the preparation of the gospel of peace. In addition to all, taking up the shield of faith with which you will be able to extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. With every prayer and request, pray at all times in the Spirit, and with this in view, be alert with all perseverance and every request for all the saints, and pray in my behalf that speech may be given to me in the opening of my mouth to make known with boldness the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in chains, that in proclaiming it I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. Getting ready for a mixed martial arts championship match requires a lot of work. Each fighter spends months and months in rigid training for this event. Promoters work hard to publicize and promote the fight. Millions of dollars, tremendous energy, and a multitude of hours go into preparation for the event. Now, Paul spoke of believers getting ready for a fight. He described the Christian life as one of continual conflict. Now, we experience this in this year with the COVID-19 pandemic. Battles must be waged daily against the most relentless foe from whom there is no reprieve. And no, it's not coronavirus. Now, let us consider tonight some ways we can get ready for 2021 and the daily battles against this foe. Now, we need to know the enemy. The enemy is identified by name. The enemy of all believers is Satan, the great adversary, the slanderous accuser, the malignant foe of all the followers of Christ. Now, no believer needs to be deceived about his true identity. The enemy is also identified by nature. The book of Ephesians chapter 6 verse 11 tells us, Put on the full armor of God so that you will be able to stand firm against the schemes of the devil. Now, in this verse, the word schemes relates to the plans he has laid out for our spiritual disaster, for our spiritual downfall. Now, Satan wages warfare with deception and crafty assaults against us. We need to put on the full equipment. The Bible tells us the following in the book of Ephesians chapter 6, verse 14. Stand firm, therefore, having belted your waist with truth. Jason, my nine-year-old boy, just obtained his green belt in karate a couple of weeks back. Now, when he did his grading, he was ready to compete. He was ready for battle. Now, we also need to put on the belt on our waist, the belt from God's armor. The belt of truth is seen in the person of Christ and in the relationships of Christians. Now, verse 14 continues to say, and having put on the breastplate of righteousness. We need to put on the breastplate of righteousness. Righteousness denotes moral integrity. It protects us from the tricks of Satan. 
It helps us withstand a multitude of attacks and enter the conflict without fear. Now, verse 15 continues to say, And having strapped on your feet the preparation of the gospel of peace. We need to wear the shoes of peace on our feet. The Roman soldier wore strong sandals that protected his feet, but also allowed him to stand in a slippery place. It is peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ that enables us to stand firm in difficult places and situations and to move swiftly into the opposing enemy. Now, verse 16 reminds us of the following. In addition to all, taking up the shield of faith, which which you will be able to extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. You and I need to use the shield of faith. The Roman soldier carried a huge door-like shield, usually made of wood and covered with leather. It protected him from the enemy's weapons. For believers like you and I, faith forms such a shield. Now verse 17 continues to say, and take the helmet of salvation. Now the word take, this means to receive from God's hand something that he has prepared for us. Now salvation is a gift. We need to rely on another resources. Now, we have the resources of the Bible. And the Word of God tells us this in the book of Ephesians, chapter 6, 17, where it says, And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Now, the sword of the Spirit is the one weapon of offense. The gospel message placed in the hands of the Christian warrior must be used with skill. Now, we also need to have the resource of prayer. Now, verse 18 reminds us, With every prayer and request, pray at all times in the Spirit. And with this in view, be alert with all perseverance and every request for all the saints. Praying in the Spirit describes the true character of prayer. It is offered under the guidance of the Spirit, in fellowship with the Spirit, and in dependence on the Spirit. Now, soldiers fight more valiantly and more gallantly when they know they are not alone. The soldiers can remain in close, clear, and personal communication with their commander. Also, around the Christian warrior stand countless other warriors who are ready to offer encouragement and help. Let me ask you the following. Are you winning your daily battles over the devil? If not, you need to be ready for fight. Satan is always seeking to divert your attention away from the Lord. He opposes all the good that God wants to accomplish in your life. Now, to meet the opposer, you need to put on the equipment God has for you. Before we begin the good fight this 2021, we need to acknowledge that it is time for a new beginning in Jesus Christ. I want to finish tonight by asking you the following. Have you accepted Christ into your heart this 2020? Have you accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior this 2020? Tonight, as we close 2020 and welcome 2021, it is a great time to allow Jesus into your heart. Now, He came to die on a wooden cross for my sins, for your sins, and those of the world. So don't put it off. Come to Christ. Don't finish off 2020 without the best gift that you can take with you for 2021. And this gift is the gift of salvation in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. If you want to take this gift, this 2020, before entering 2021, open your heart to Jesus and repeat with me this prayer. Lord Jesus, I know that I am a sinner and need your forgiveness. I know that you died on the cross for me and that you rose again on the third day. I now turn away from my sin and ask you to forgive me. I now invite you into my heart and life. I now trust you as a Savior, Lord, and King, and I will follow you. Jesus, thank you for saving me today. In your name I pray this. Amen. If you made this prayer with me, let me welcome you to the family of God. If you want to know more about Jesus, please make contact with us via the official Christ Point Church Melbourne app. Now that you are a child of God, get your equipment in place the full armor of God, and you can use the Word of God and prayer so that you can be a winner this year. This 2021, get ready for a fight, a fight that God has already won. I'm Carlos Corrado, pastor and founder for Christ Point Church Melbourne. Thank you for joining us tonight. May God bless you. See you again next week, God willing. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father and Lord Jesus, thank you that you make all things new. 
Thank you for all that you've allowed into our lives this past year, the good and the difficult, which have reminded us how much we need you and how much we rely on your presence filling us every single day. We pray for your Holy Spirit to lead us each step of the way this new year. We ask that you will guide our decisions and turn our hearts deeply to desire you more and more. We ask that you will open doors needing to be open and close the ones needing to be shut. We ask that you would help us release our grip on the things to which you said no, not yet, or wait. We ask for your help to pursue you first and above every dream and desire you've put within our hearts. We ask for your wisdom. We ask for your strength and power to be constantly present within us. We pray you would make us strong and courageous for the road ahead this 2021. Give us the ability to go beyond what we feel we were able to do. Let your gifts flow freely through us so that you would be honored by our lives. And through it, others would be drawn to you. We pray that you keep us far from the snares and traps of temptation. That you will whisper in our ears when we need to run and whisper in our hearts when we need to stand our ground. We pray for your protection over our families and friends. We ask for your hand to cover us and keep us distanced from the evil intent of the enemy. That you will be a barrier to surround us that we'd be safe in your hands. We pray that you would give us discernment and insight. May we understand and hear your voice and know your ways more and more. We ask that you would keep our footsteps firm on solid ground, helping us to be consistent and faithful. Give us supernatural endurance to stay the course, not swerving to the right or to the left or being too easily distracted by other things that would seek to call us away from a close walk with you. Forgive us for the times we have worked so hard to be self-sufficient, forgetting our need for you, living independent of your Holy Spirit. Forgive us for letting fear and worry control our minds and for allowing pride and selfishness wreak havoc over our lives. Forgive us for not following your ways and for living distant from your presence. We confess our need for you. We ask that you make all things new in our hearts, in our minds, and in our lives for this coming year. We pray for your refreshing love and mercy over us. We ask that you would provide for our need. We ask for your grace and favor. We pray for your blessing to cover us. We pray that you would help us to prosper and make every plan that you have birthed in our hearts to succeed. Help us to be known as great givers. Help us to be generous and kind. Help us to look to the needs of others and not be consumed by our own. May we be lovers of truth. May the fruits of your spirit be evident in our lives. Your love, your joy, your peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Shine your light in us, through us, and over us. May we make a difference in this world for your glory and purposes. Set your ways before us. May we reflect your peace and hope to a world that is so desperately needing your presence and healing. To you be the glory and honor in this 2021 and forever. Amen. May the Father's hand keep you from stumbling. The footprints of Jesus give you the strength and confidence to follow, and the fire of the Holy Spirit keep you warm and safe in your walk with God, today, tomorrow, and always. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Happy New Year from Christ Point Church, Melbourne. May God bless us all.